Okay, let's turn on our camera because we are going to start our lesson. First, okay. Everyone, please turn on your camera, Colleen. So today, boys and girls, I would be sharing about this book. A community is a group of people who live in the same area. I wish he would stop interrupting me. Hey, hey, boing, 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 boing. Do you think that's annoying, boys and girls? This time, maybe I can hear from several students, those who want to share. You can turn on your mic and ask your question. Well, this is the uh, the relation office. This is the RO. We call this place RO. Who is the current president of Indonesia? Siapa nama presiden Indonesia yang sekarang? Yang sekarang, presiden yang sekarang. Raise up your hand. Raise up your hand. So this inquiry-based learning approach started when the curriculum team spent almost a year trying to figure out how to mobilize all the elementary teachers with methods and approaches that would invigorate everyone, making them focus in inquiry that aligned with the direction the other departments were heading in and make learning experiences worthwhile and enjoyable. In an inquiry-based learning approach, the teacher becomes a facilitator or guide who builds in inquiry, exploration, and assessment into daily instructional approach. Students use inquiry to connect new information with prior knowledge through practice and reflection. Up next, we are going to hear some sharing from our students who experienced inquiry-based learning approach from this school last year. We will see how they were engaged, how they explored, how they explained, elaborate, and were evaluated through the process. They don't tell us the answers directly. Sometimes we have some points that we don't even figure out at the end, but we always figure out at least a bit of points. Last time our teacher showed us a picture of Mother Teresa and a lot of poor people. How did I know that? Uh, the poor people, uh, they have ripped clothing and they were bringing pots with no food inside it or no money. And Mother Teresa, she helps the poor and she was talking with the poor and maybe taking and it looks like she was taking down lists of notes of what the people need that's how i knew when our teacher show us the picture we are encouraged to predict what is going on and we are asked to uh, to guess uh, what the person is what is the person doing in the picture In ISCS during English lesson, we have learned a lot of things and our teacher encourages us to sometimes write stories. This one time, our English teacher told us to write a myth and sometimes we don't have ideas how to write one. So our teacher creates a model for us uh, to be encouraged and for us to know what to write. During the writing of the myth story, we also wrote about language frames and visualization which helps us to write it and before we write stories like the myth we also have to write the character setting problem and solution so that we know more ideas about it we also wrote a draft before we made the myth story to uh, to see how the story goes and then once we're done with it we can write the complete myth story so that we don't make more mistakes because we already fixed the mistakes in the draft before. The end of a 
all the preparations, we had to dress up as the hero that we have chosen and tell the story of the hero that we have chosen and a moral to the story or a lesson that we can implement to our lives and also how we can uh, we ourselves could be a hero. We also learned about the biblical perspective of justice, which is sharing each other's burdens and being equal so we can be kind to each other equally because that is what God wants. There's also this one time where we had to do a pair deck where we had to write three inferences about a subject. That subject was the earthquake in Sumatra, North Sumatra. And we held like an organization called I Care, which donated money to help the people of North Sumatra and recover from the earthquake that they have experienced.